Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kemi and you are watching Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to this channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here with me. We are going to be watching The Witches of East Week. And it was requested by Zalika B. Zalika, I'd like to say a big thank you for being a patron to this channel and requesting this movie. It's the month of October and I'm getting all sorts which was expected because, like I said, I allow the patron make up their minds as to what they want me to watch during this month. So it's all up to them. When <laughs> I'm at their mercy, please, please be gentle. <laughs> but if I might say so, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. I like to grade myself. And I think, honestly, surviving the conjuring, the first and the second parts, and Insidious, listen, I, yeah. I can I can pat myself on the back. Thank you so much. Um, unfortunately, I lost my. Um, no, I won't say I lost. I know what happened. YouTube t destroyed my channel, my movie channel, and I just don't have the energy to start another movie channel. So all my reactions will be going up on my first original channel. Sincerely, KSO. I know, I know, I, I've tried my best. If you want me to, if you, wait, let me, I think I should make sure you guys vote for this because I made up my own mind and I don't want to do something that you're not happy with. So if you would like me to really create a movie channel and just upload my old videos there, separate from the channel that I have, the music channel, let me know. If you don't mind me merging it and just uploading it there on what I have, let me know. I think I'll put up a poll. Yeah, let me put up a poll. It, it, it's not going to take much. It's just going to take some time for me to keep uploading movies there, right? So if that's what you want, let me know, all right? So we're watching The Witches of Eastwick. First time watching. First time, first time, first time. Which is, oh, okay. I already think the worst. I already think the worst. Salika, <laughs> I already think the worst, but you know what I what I'm learning from watching horror movie. Sometimes it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> I lie, it's always bad. It's always bad. It's always bad. Okay. Oh, it doesn't sound bad. It's not having that somber intro music, the frightful one. It's exciting. Kennedy Miller film, Michelle Pfeiffer. Hmm. Veronica Cartwright. <laughs> How many children does she have? Want six? Oh my goodness. Six, seven. <laughs> Especially now. Mm, yes. Um, is the uh, divorce final yet? Can you take uh, a step yes, back? Today. Thank you. Mm. That is so. All right. Uh, horns up. The horse plays the Violation. She should make file a complaint. Harassment. In these days of disintegrating value, it's comforting to think back to the days when a family like the Lennox body and a man like Major Lennox, they were men and women today. The families that went through great hardships, fighting the wars of modern vice and abiding love of liberty. Hardships, which at times. Are you kidding me? We are going in. We waited too long. Absolutely. They should have left alone from the first. Oh, do you believe this? It's raining. God, I no. Love the rain. No, I mean. You were? 
I was thinking he was all wet and wouldn't it be nice? Well, he's a liar and a lech and he deserved it. No, no, I mean, I'm not talking about Walter. I mean, don't you think that's kind of strange that we were all... So we were all thinking the same thing at the same time, Suki. I mean, so what? It's not like it's going to get us on David Letterman. I know, I just... Let's have a drink. So she was trying to say that she thinks they have powers, right? Now what they were thinking. Do you think that they still, you know... <laughs> mm. I keep forgetting how many calories are in one of these things. I'm a free woman. Join the club. Besides, we, we still have each other. I know. Come on, honey. Here, have some more martini. Monty left you, he deserted you, and left you with five kids. Six. It's not the point, okay? What I'm saying is it's not your fault. Does that mean that I have to spend the rest of my life having drinks with you two every Thursday night? <laughs> Stimulating. I mean, we're not relaxing. We're hiding. We're hiding. Walter Neff. Oh, fuck Walter <laughs> Neff. I'm not talking about him. <laughs> Why? Somebody with a brain, somebody you could talk to. Someone you could really be. All right, all right, I've had it with you two, okay? Well, especially considering what's in town, Janie. A foreign prince on a big black horse. Are they witches and they don't know? Established in 1640. Population. Oh. Huge. <laughs> I prefer small. Right, Jane. What I do, aesthetically, I prefer small. <sighs> Sam was huge, and there were times when I just could not face it. Well, I'm sort of in the middle myself. Which is and they don't know. Well, then why do we always end up talking? Alex, did you hear me that time? Yeah, I heard you the foot. I don't know. Don't you think it's kind of... S strange, I mean... Well, they told me his name, you know, for the column, and I forgot it, right? So I called him back. Uh, Clyde? Uh, I'll call you back, okay? How does she know? How does she know that it was Felicia coming in through the door? Oh, did you hear that someone bought the Lennox mansion? <laughs> well, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> no. What's going to happen to those birds now? Felicia? What's the matter? Something's happening, Clyde. Something evil. Oh, really? Why? Why? Speak more. Let's know where that thought is coming from. I don't understand. Well, Dolly, you know how I do the little creatures. So, but honestly, nobody's even looked at them sideways in months. Riveting. Mm. Yes, that's the word. I was riveted. Mm. I was looking into his eyes, and I found myself thinking thoughts I hadn't entertained since World War II. I, th I think I actually <laughs> blushed. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> no. Well, I mean, yeah. So what happened? He bought one? Uh, uh, you don't happen to remember his name by any chance? Yes, of course. His name is... Oh. Oh. tip of my tongue, but I can't... So everyone who meets him forgets his name. That is already giving me voodoo vibes. Right? Everyone who meets you forgets your name. But you leave a lasting impression for them to remember what you did but know who you are, or were, or whatever. Paper called him, you know, and has to interview Excuse him. Excuse me. I know, but who is he? Huh. Well, he must have a name. Yeah. It's in my shop. Well, who is he? What does I he don't do? mean that you're stupid. For a name, Van, Van something or other. <laughs> oh, David. No, 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 no. It, it, um, it has an R in it. Van Horn. Yes. Daryl Van Horn. Daryl Van Horn. What kind of a name is that? Daryl, Daryl. Looking for me? Haven't seen any snowy aigrettes out here, have you? No. For lunch? No, pissing on birds. <laughs> well, you know, they're just little. Little, yes. They're nice, relaxed, terrific fella. He has a gallery. I w mm. Do you like fish? We're having fish for lunch. Oh, yes. Fidel, that's his name. There you are. 
scale again, size. I know what I see. I see men running around. Nature, birth, mm. rebirth. I want me to treat you like a dumb twit. I will. But what's the... I don't believe in it. Good for the man, lousy for the woman. Dead. Well, sorry. But you're one of the lucky. <laughs> Divorce, the three Ds. When that happens, oh, that's the woman for me. Would you like to see my house? No. Pool's right over there past the piano where the uh, ballroom used to be. Interesting word. Ballroom. It's always been one of my favorites. And uh, over there is uh, the Borgias once owned the bed. No one's going to do that for you, are they? And who's that tall giant, your bodyguard, your... <laughs> what? what is it that you think you're doing? Are you trying to seduce me? But uh, I would love to fuck you. Well, you know, I have to admit that I appreciate your directness, Daryl, and... No, I, I am positive that you are the most unattractive man I have ever met in my entire life. You know, in the short time we've been together, you have demonstrated every loathsome characteristic of the male personality and even discovered a few new ones. Vulgar, insensitive, selfish, stupid. Smell? Um, would you like to be on the top or the bottom? Is that the way you feel about it? Just your average horny little devil. She'll grab some food and fall asleep on the bed doing her homework. There's more to wash tomorrow. I have to go home to make, make dinner. Cup of coffee with the neighbor in the morning. All this talking. Pending to be half of what you are. Hmm? How long can you last like that? All the futility of the world pouring into her. Lying on your bed, looking at the ceiling. Feeling it. Wanting it. Make it happen. No, don't wait. Do it now. He's a horny little devil. And keyword devil. Well, why did he break this girl? I feel he had something to do with her leg being broken. Why was it her? Because she's sensing the bad things or she's sensitive to darkness or something like that. He said something about his name. You sit okay. there in that. Well, under your very nose. I Not understand. one Judy. ounce of morality. Why these words, they mean nothing to you. You know you should be strung up along with that son of a... Ah! Call the nurse! What is wrong with that? Then take the pill. Yes. Is that yes? Yes. Sort of Alzheimer's or something? No. Yes. She's saying she says things that I don't know. I mean, I don't know, I don't know where they come from. That is, something is off. I'm sorry. I don't care what you say about it. That woman hates her husband. She hates her husband. What, all the things she was saying? That's too much. I hope my mouth the strangest things come out. That's a good husband, right? He's caring. Some people would have just dropped the food and stopped feeding you, let you starve and just wash. Something's it. inside me, Clyde. Here. Hi. Jane, last we meet. The three women actually were the ones who Not conjured him, right? They... And your eyebrows do the money. Good for you. You guys, 60, 70 years old, breaking their balls. Do I make you nervous? God, yes, you do. Yes. So what brings you to Eastwick? I needed what? a place to settle down and... Uh... Witches. Oh. Yeah. Hocus pocus. Hocus Pocus, so I made that film reaction quite request. Just another example of male dominance. Fear of losing their heart on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> She's sold. Look at her face. Girl, all of all three of you Dredge. You think I'm crazy, but I know music. Passion mm. without precision, chaos. This hand, this legato-like 
they attach you, you kill the passion. And I practice, I practice till my fingers bleed. Yeah. I can't do it. Yes, okay, you can't can do it. I can't. I can't. Let it go. What are you afraid of? You have great passion in you. Let it out. Yes. That's it. Yes. Yes, that's right. Now. You feel that? Let it wash over you. Let it tickle. Sit down. I want to go. Yes, me too. Like, oh, yeah, it's cute. You want to go listen to Carol, I love the number on the fridge. I don't believe it. Neither do I. But I swear. Okay, okay, okay. Just because you went to bed with him. Uh, uh, because Jane is going to love him. <laughs> Alexandra, did you come to fix the plumbing? There you are. Hi, are we late? I'm Look at those face. eyes of yours. When are we going to do that little interview of ours? But not today. Today is for tennis. Is that your perfume? Ah! Ah! Double fault! Just don't let, him, don't about, okay? let him rattle you. That's what? All. They're just... Ah! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, darling. lost my... What's happening? What's funny, girl? Are you gonna right, see right, what's happening? On. Our game. Wait, are they still playing? Did they see? Isn't it registering that that was magic? Stop! <laughs> that is magic. Can't you see it? Going down. Jane hates it now. Are you going to seduce me too? Mm -hmm. I mean, I get pregnant all the time. You're not like other men, are you? Always very rational, always an explanation for everything. I don't think... The nature is crazy, no matter what science... And you're a very peculiar person. I mean, if I could do that, anybody you want me to be. float why would he be able to make you float maybe these girls think they're on drugs these are human beings <laughs> and it somehow makes sense <laughs> then you grow up you keep waiting for the day and what do you see when you open your eyes they're crawling all over me and i disappear and it's the pain that scares me i don't know why there has to be we don't deal the deck down here we just uh Harsh. Harsh. In our very homes. You know who I'm talking about. You know. Mm. Shamelessness. Mm. All right. Drugs are mean. this. Murder. No. Listen to me. You employ one of them, Clyde. <laughs> Somebody has to do something about it. Let's just get rid of the music. I want you all to close your eyes. We're gonna play the shit out of this thing. That's it. Just my smile, Martha. Let it tickle you now. You're doing this, I feel great. Blow with it. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Are you buying the paper or not? I'm um, Oh. She's not wearing a bra. Mm -hmm. Keith, the whole town, they're talking about you and your friends. This is so unfair, and it's also untrue. No, 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 no. Yes, he, it no, is, Clyde. He, he filled in the wetlands, and he ruined it for the birds. I work very hard, and okay. I'm a good writer. Okay, right. You know that. All right, all right, Suki, all right, all right, all right. I, I don't own the newspaper, you know? To, well, for not a doctor, you know, but uh, ever since the accident, she just, it just hasn't been the same. And now, what am I doing? Let's not overreact. I think we should. You don't understand, Daryl. You know it's a... Poor Felicia. Poor Felicia. Poor Felicia. Darling, she's talked to the mother of every one of my students. I've had 12 cancellations this week. I've lost my job. People are telling Carol her mother's a dyke. You're being sued for I don't know how many millions. It is inconvenient. Uh, this woman is not kidding with her medieval morality. I, I just think Suki is right. Maybe we should just stop. Maybe she should stop. Oh, you gals can't be serious. I mean, we're a family. Just a for a fa while until things settle down. I'm trying to tell you they're selling pornography at Skylar's new shop. What is it? What is it? Filth in broad daylight. Right. Today, grabbing magazines out of little kids' hands and then chasing them out of the store. Please, all of this moaning, they're lucky to have each other. If they don't appreciate that, I have no sympathy. I just can't stand it to see you upset. He's trying to get inside me, Clyde. Oh, he wants to get inside me, Clyde. Oh. God made us into the image of goodness. Look what we've become. Animals gone mad. Eat, 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 eat. Okay, all right, Felicia, take it easy. Calm down. <laughs> Poor women, I, I have to warn them. He will increase his number. He's going to take their love and continue to destroy the earth with it. What's the other one? Oh, my God. He killed Felicia. Bunny and Clyde killed Felicia. He killed her. I, I know him, Alex. He couldn't do this. Sweetie, let's just talk. Those are just words. Says, what is happening to us? She's right, Jack. Don't start with this. It's not about Daryl. This is about us. All I said was, look. You bitch. Alex, don't do oh, this. Oh, shut up, Sukie. Will you get off of me? Oh, 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 oh. You got all that food. Anybody call? No. Why would they call? No. No. They're avoiding you, running for their lives. They know something is up. Can you and your own eye always open and doesn't blink? Hello? Hi. Carol? Nothing. I just uh, called to see how you are, you know, see how you were, you know. You know, you were really missing me and you were... So if we both feel terrible, can't we do something about it? No, it's not okay, Alex. I don't understand. I die all the time. She was in a pretty bad way, you know. Alex, don't do this! Alex, this is not fair! Alex! Oh, wow. What's up in your mouth? Girl, why are you looking like this? I'm sure. What's all this? Talk to the kids, maybe. Gang! Mr. Spofford? What's wrong with me? There's nothing. Are you sure? Yes. So you pregnant? All three of them, I'm sure. I'm sure. Felicia was saying that she... To promote his seed, something like that. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> Mrs. Spofford. Starts when you open your eyes and you finally understand what the future is. Oh my God. She's really silly. And sometimes I look in the mirror and I see everything. And sometimes I look in the mirror and I see everything. It's a short life. <laughs> They're crawling all over me and I disappear and they're crawling all over me and I disappear and... Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Let it go, let it go! Look at me. Let it go. So much pain. She's still in a lot of pain. I don't want to give her. Sweetheart, sweetheart, we've talked to the doctor. You're Do something about it. All I know is we were friends, and the next day I was shut out. Suki could die, don't you understand that? That's no reason to- Yes, it is. You pissed me off! From a I want somebody to do these shirts! That's what I want! What do I want? Christ! Everything I did, mm -hmm. I did for you. Go on, go back to your miserable little life. Go on, fuck me if I care. That stuff you did for us, it was great, but you can't use your power to hurt people. I could yeah. learn. You could teach me. Learn. How hard can it be? Put this behind us and be friends? You missed me a little bit, didn't you? It stopped. Feeling better. Much better now. I think I, I don't know what to think because obviously they they can't defeat the devil. Fidel. Hmm. We're going to town. I I think they're pretending because they can't oh look at their face. Do they want to cast a spell too on him? What is Maleficio? Candles? Wax? Oh wow! Uh, three pinches. I'd like a uh, some dozen bagels. Uh, well, <clears throat> I'll just take the bread and the fish. I should have saved a little hair for his head. He looks a little funny with no hair. No ice cream. Imagine that. Somebody nice. Somebody you could talk to. Like some pistachio. That is pistachio, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. What's, what's the matter? Girls! What are you doing? Having a little trouble. A little. Nothing to be alarmed at. Uh. Mm -hmm. Ungrateful little bitches, aren't they? Huh? Mm -hmm. No shit. I really want to know. Flies! You think women. <laughs> you don't think God makes mistakes? When God makes mistakes, they call it. <laughs> so, what do you think? 
or did he do it to us on purpose? <laughs> because I really want to know. Because if it's a mistake, maybe we could do something about it. Find a cure. Careful, <laughs> Careful, woman. Build up our immune systems. <laughs> you know. Just in case. Okay. <laughs> The dog. Back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then stop possessing these boys. Oh my god. Come on to daddy to be a big kid. Come on. <laughs> come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh ladies, come on. Oh my god, this was fun. It was fun. It wasn't it, it wasn't scary in the way that I thought, but as time progressed, I really wanted to know the three women had power in themselves. Where did they get that? Like so many unanswered questions, like where did they get the power from? How is it by leaving in East Week? Are, is their ancestor sort of you know, a witch? Was that the place they lived? Are they tr like, I need the main story as to how these women were able to come together and manifest a man of their dreams, in quote, that eventually turned out to be a man of their nightmares. So these are the things that I really want to have answered. Other than that, I, I, I the storyline was fine. They want something, it came into their lives and they realized it wasn't what they wanted and they decided to expel it doesn't that happen all the time like with relationships and women you keep wishing for a man to come into your life and you just want someone to love you because in that moment you're missing love you want someone to provide for you because in that moment you're missing provision so when the person comes you know you don't realize that they have these flaws because provision was what you were seeking and now it's here the other flaws you ignore. It was good. Not to scare Zalika, so thank you. It was just, and the, the whole, the, the, for me, I think the part that scared me the most was when Felicia started vomiting and doing all that. She was really, she was, she wasn't, she wasn't the person with the eyes, right? In the sense that I would like to believe that she was, she knew what she was saying, but she was not 
able to communicate with the people of the, the village they she wasn't able to communicate properly with them and let them know that listen i have a sense you know like a prophet is sometimes they want to get the message across but because of the way they're acting you're like oh he's drunk and that wasn't the case she saw she sort of had powers herself to be able to see what was coming but her delivery was off when she started talking about it <laughs> You know, and things like that. Uh, you know, I was I was for her when she said that the children were holding on to magazines that they shouldn't have been holding. Yes. But other things that she just kept blurting out were like, woman, contain yourself. And Clyde, God bless Clyde. Like he was just, I, that insight to how to, he was giving to Suki about how they started and how they were together. And now she's just turned into just that dedicated spouse. When your sp spouse is going way off and you remember the good times when they were wonderful. And people keep asking, why are you still with this person? But it's because of the memories that you have. They were not always like this. So why should I abandon them? I, I, it was good. It was good. Thank you, Zalika. Don't forget to subscribe. On to the next. Bye.